This year marks the fourth century celebrations of the death anniversary of St. Francis de Sales, a great saint in the church. I think history records him as the first person who gave spirituality. The Holy Father also has published his apostolic letter on this occasion, uh, highlighting how uh, St. Francis de Sales is very relevant for our times. He lived his own times, but what he lived and what he said, what he taught, especially by his example, now lives for us in our times because we so much uh, need the spirituality uh, that St. Francis de Sales has given to us. So fasting is a powerful and fundamental part of the Christian life. So what is, in essence, is fasting? What is it? It's the deprivation of the good in order to make a decision for a greater good. According to experts, the whole purpose of fasting is to put the created order and our spiritual life in a proper balance. Fasting helps make more room for God in our life. So, to gain control of one's own self over senses which run helter-skelter in order to satisfy temptations instead of overcoming them is the purpose of our fasting. What do the fathers of the church teach us? St. Basil the Great uh, speaks about fasting as the weapon of protection against demons. And so, uh, fasting uh, is also good because it makes us submit ourselves to God. That is what St. Basil wanted to say, the protection against demons. That it is a battle, our life on earth is a battle between choosing God and choosing the worldly, uh, mundane. Jesus abstained from food and water for 40 days. Thus, he reversed what happened in the Garden of Eden. Our own ancient Indian tradition has been teaching us that fasting uh, better disposes us for prayer. Because we feel greater hunger or thirst when we fast from food and water and it reminds us of our frailty and helps us to be humbler. Yes, St. Francis de Sales often said that without humility, fast is nothing but a hypocrisy. Without humility, prayer and then our experience of God really can't be fruitful. Thus, the practice is clearly linked, according to St. Thomas Aquinas, who writes within the tradition to chastity. Uh, if you see in Jeremiah chapter 30, uh, 31, verses 31 to 33, God promises that He, God, will write His law upon our hearts. So, fasting or anything that we do out of love for God must be motivated not by rules but by love. Fasting must be stirred up by inner urge of charity. Love for God and love for neighbor as I said. And so therefore this is also why the primary motivation for fasting by a Catholic should not be a dieting uh, or becoming proud but generous love of God. Jesus in the Gospel according to John invites us to follow Him. He says in chapter 21 verses 20 to 23, follow me. This is the purpose of fasting for us Christians. In like manner, without self-centeredness, to prove how brave we are, we should be focused on God during this Lent. In fact, the church refers to Lent as a joyful season. And so therefore, our fasting should be joyful. And so, let us learn by uh, practicing fast, let us learn our dependence on God from whom all gifts including food also come. To seek His mercy and forgiveness and to seek His strength so that we can grow in virtue and do better. And by realizing our weaknesses and dependence on God, we can discover anew the depths of God's mercy for us and can be more merciful to others.